Hi you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Leo, Leo Sun, Moon, or Rising for the week of February 15th through the uh, 28th, 2017. I've already shuffled and cut the cards, so let's go ahead and begin. And happy Valentine's uh, to you guys. I uh, hope everyone has enjoyed their Valentine's Day. And by the time you watch this, I don't know, it may not even be Valentine's. Uh, so let's see here. Okay, Leos. Let's see. All right. So for the heart of the situation, I have the Nine of Swords. Uh, I've also pulled the Chariot and... Um, Eight of Wands. And then I have the Hierophant. Six of Cups. Death. Two of Pentacles. And Ten of Swords. You, ouch. Okay. All right, Leos, what is going on? Um, I feel like you are stressing about something. There is some sort of anxiety. Um, and I feel like it's, it has something to do with, uh, either someone is on defense, someone is being emotionally unavailable or unattached or you to them. I'm going to say that someone is doing this to you since I feel like you're just kind of stressed about this. Like, I feel like you're having some sort of anxiety attack or because of something that's happened, you're kind of being on the defense now, like. You're being guarded and, um, I don't know, I feel like you're either planning to attack someone or someone, or you're guarding yourself from some sort of attack that you feel is coming on. Like you can feel these anxieties or these stresses or these bad thoughts coming on and you're just kind of protecting yourself and gearing up like, uh-uh, no, I'm not gonna let this happen, you know. Some of you may have been having trouble sleeping at night. Um, some of you have been having a lot of either nightmares or a lot of uh, messages from spirits. I really feel like some of you are communicating with spirits or some spirits are trying to connect to you. And they've really been at it um, this week. Um, okay, so you're going to learn something about someone from your past. Um, boy. Okay, so I kind of feel like I think something's coming to an end. And I feel like you're going to try to resuscitate it or try to rework it. But it's just, it's like, no, it's just over. And I feel like you're just going to kind of take it hard. Um, for some of you, like, it doesn't have to be a physical death. Sometimes it is, though. It may be that someone from your past um, suddenly passes away. And you're just like, not this again, like. It just keep it's like a pattern like you just keep losing people close to you or losing people from your childhood um that you had some sort of connection to uh so it's like some sort of mourning now if this again isn't a physical death then it's like the end of a friendship that you keep trying to go back to or something that was on and off it's like it's done for um I just kind of feel like, I don't know, like you're trying to make this connection or you're even offering to make some sort of commitment. I feel like you're being really open with this person and you're sharing everything, but it's just, it's not going anywhere. Um... Hmm. And it just kind of seems like something just ends abruptly. Just 
I don't know, it's like a repeated cycle or pattern. Um, either you're cutting off communication from someone for good or them to you. But I just kind of feel like it's the last straw. It's like all you can take. Like, I don't know. I just feel so bad because I just kind of feel like, um, you know, I don't like delivering messages that don't seem uplifting and at the same time it's hard for me to try to change it you know if I don't see anything else now for some of you too I mean it could be just a matter of you're trying to reach out to someone you're trying to admit you're trying to let someone know how you feel but um, they blocked you from social media or you can't find them, like, you know, you can't find them anywhere and you're trying to do something over and over again. Or, like, you keep going to check and see if their page is active or open. Something and it's just like a dead end. It's like a cycle of dead. You're juggling two things that have, that's not going anywhere. It could even be two people from your past that you're trying to make something happen with and it's just neither one of them. It's just not working. I just feel like you're having a crappy week. Okay, so the next week does look a little better. Yeah. Um. Okay, so... The following week, it just kind of looks like you're going to get over something. You're going to rebuild something. Um, I feel like you're going to be free from whatever was stressing you at the beginning of this week. Or whatever stress, whatever negative happens this week that's coming up. The following week, I feel like you're going to be over it and you're going to, it's going to be, you know, successful. You're, it's like glad that's over. Um, and then two, I, I feel like you're going to um, take some time to yourself. I feel like you're going to reflect more. Uh, I, I feel like you're going to be praying more, trying to get closer to God for some of you. Um I just kind of feel like you want to build a new foundation for yourself. Um, for some of you, I feel like you want to change your home life. Like you just want to make your your home life different. You're kind of contemplating and, and just meditating on some things. I feel like you're still thinking about your soulmate or this person from your past. I feel like you're going to be dreaming about them. They're still in your mind, though. Um... But for some reason, maybe things look a little more promising that following week. Um, I don't know if you're going to ask someone for a job or someone's going to be asking you for some sort of assistance or something with your daily activities. Some of you, I feel like you're going to become more spiritual and start doing some sort of service work. Feeling like maybe this will make my soul feel better. Let me do a good deed. Or feeling like you're being punished or paid back. And you're just like God is punishing me or the universe is punishing me. So you try to mend your way somehow by doing some good deeds. The next week you're um, helping people out more. You're volunteering your time or um, volunteer, volunteering, um, I mean, giving a charitable charities or charitable causes. Um, I kind of feel like you're going to be more focused on someone too. Yeah, I feel like there's this Libra or a Gemini or an Aquarius that you're just kind of thinking about even while you work or you're going to start like some new position or like let's say you're not working right now I feel like maybe next week 
you possibly get a job offer or you start something new, you're going to be starting something new, maybe a new project, working on your home or something. And you're going to be so focused on the work is what helps remove the pain that you're feeling. But this person is like still consistently on your mind, like nonstop. Um, for some of you, you might even be writing about it or sharing your story or talking about it. But more so, I kind of feel like you're going to be writing about some things. You're going to be writing down your goals, uh, journaling about things. You're making goals about money. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like you're just trying to shift your focus so that you don't have to think about uh, this person that you love so much. Um, now, this could, again, be how someone is viewing you and they're going all bananas and, you know, falling out. But I kind of get the sense that this is you, Leo. Um, and I feel like you're going to either have a clear-cut decision or someone is going to um, speak out or they're going to say something uh, to you like if you wanted someone to speak out or if you wanted to hear from someone I do feel like you're going to hear from this person or you're going to receive some sort of decision or answer uh, from this person some of you are going to be getting some sort of work or job in a communications field where you're writing speaking or uh, over the phone talking to people over the phone doing some sort of routine work um some of you have to answer to your boss who is kind of high and mighty, but they're very intelligent and they usually give good advice. Uh, they're like a, a, they help you make balanced decisions. Uh, they usually can see things from a different perspective. Um, or like if you see the glasses half empty, they can show you how to see it as half full. Um, this is someone who brings a little more optimism uh, to you. Um, but yeah, I just kind of um, just be prepared for this uh, coming week. It just seems a little rough. But again, you know, by the following week, things seem to be uh, much better for you. Uh, and then some of you, too, are still even thinking about some sort of commitment or you're working up the nerve to ask someone out or ask them to uh, to I don't know at like a commitment or if you've been dating several people it's like you're asking this one person um, or making some sort of decision to be with this one person and you want to prove how serious you are at working on a relationship or doing what needs to be done. It's like some of you are just like, I'm going to prove I'm going to do this every day until they take me serious. Um, yeah. Mm. Okay, so give me one moment, you guys. Sorry if it goes silent. Uh, there was something else that I saw and I just want to see if it comes back to me. Um, no, that's basically it. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, uh, go ahead and say some of you are going to get promoted to some high ranking position. Um, and two, yeah, that that soulmate that you connect to uh i kind of feel like you're more so connected to them because of some sort of um beliefs that you share with this person you guys have the same spiritual belief um and so that is like i don't know important to you and that's what that's why you want to be with this person is because they understand you guys just have that same belief system Okay, so uh, this has been a general reading uh, for private readings. You would email me to matt76 at gmail.com. Uh, that is in the description box below. Just click on that link and it will show my email address. 
Um, remember you guys to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, thank all of you that have already done so and many blessings to you.